Aloha friends, it's uh, Earthman Eric Plot from PlotPalmTrees.com. Some call me the palm guy, the palm tree guy. I'm here in Missouri. Um, and this is December 21st, 2013. We've been doing three years of successful overwintering of palm trees. They're still green, but I come out here after I did my video. I just uploaded. I mean, look at this. We got ice like crazy uh, out here. See those yeah, icicles? I mean, you can hear the ground crushing. Uh, it was fro frozen ice yesterday. Uh, I just managed to get out today because I was busy uploading some stuff for y'all. The fronds are, on these things are completely just ice. Look at this. this it scares the heck out of me. Um, it's still green right now, but who knows. And uh, they are protected with the burlap. I just posted a video. It should be up before this gets uploaded. Beautiful sky. It's Columbia, Missouri, Zone 6A. Um, they're all protected. And uh, uh, the video was called the Importance, Teaching the Importance of Palm Tree Protection. And uh, I get a lot of, a lot of uh, criticism on you know, certain palm boards and stuff um, about pa palm tree protection. This one's unprotected. It's an American palm. Now, the reason it is unprotected is because it can make it here. Uh, it can make it all the way up to Iowa. Some people even say Minnesota and other areas. There's uh, such an argument, or I guess you'd say a dispute, uh, on these particular trees uh, because really, I don't get, I don't understand why there's some people in Iowa. Um, you know, you have. I'll, I even throw some names out there because we have like Banana Joe. He's really well known, Salt Spring Island. And he calls me Palm Guy, but he, I think he knows who I am. Um, there's quite a dispute on whether palm trees can grow here, because it's on 6A. In Canada, he's from Salt Spring Island, and it's amazing what he's done. I really give him a due, and many growers who've helped me in the past. Um, I'm not sure why I get so much, um, I guess, uh, I guess I'd say slack on some of these issues. I, guess I do protect my trees. Um, at first I didn't because half of them didn't. It's all experimentation. Um, I had, as I said, for however many trees it was, it was 12 smaller ones and many other variations and I was doing experimentation. I have it all written down. I have videos, if you look back on my channels, uh, the Eric Plot Blaze 1145172 channel, if you look far enough back on there, you'll see the palm trees that made it through the winter. Uh, half of them made it the first and second year and many of them didn't uh, and that's a fact we have it all on record and I still get um, I still get some some insults on that and I'm just trying and I listen to people I listen to people's uh, growers in particular palm enthusiasts on protecting these trees I got the trunk tr and uh, if you'll notice it's about a foot of mulch before it goes down there's burlap around it and these, the roots on these are very, they're, they're getting very established. It takes three to five years to establish the roots. So I thought I'd kind of show you, look how the icicles, very icy today on this December 21st, 2013. Look at that. See that shattered, it's like shattered glass here. So, uh, we're getting it. So it's to be pretty bad. Um, and then there was some. I, I watched the boards, which they they had, They did let me on. I guess it was an accident that they allowed me on. Uh, I'm not really sure why I'm so uh, feared, or um, I guess they they just don't want me on the boards. I guess I'm threatening, in a sense. Uh, I threatened a lot of the palm tree culture because I pushed the envelope, perhaps. Um, I've done everything that they've, they've, uh, they've talked about. Maybe I'm too enthusiastic, too likable, and uh, maybe I should you know, tone it down a bit because they don't like someone who is too excited about this. This is exciting. Uh, my parents all support me, my family, they love it. Uh, a lot of people support it, so that could be part of the reason. Uh, too much support, and I just tried growing them, and and then uh, people started wanting them, so I started to sell them, and uh, 
you know, I started to get more education on it and started to get more education. I noticed there was someone talking about academia and there was someone who said they had more uh, academic intellect than I. Uh, I'm not really, I really truly don't care about academia, though I am in Harvard. I just got some Cornell certificate for plant-based nutrition. Um, so really, I'm kind of new in the game as far as academia. I've always been in private school, got good grades. So, yeah, you probably do have more education than me, but, uh, sir, I don't know who you are, but they were talking about it on the Hardy and Subtropical board. I would love, and right there is a, a Joshua Yucca, by the way. I've got Musa Bajus co uh, covered and some Sable Miners. They're more mature out there. I even have a Moringa tree, so uh, it's pretty cool. I'll probably upload this in the Raw Plot channel. And you can subscribe to all of them, you know, just kind of keep uh, keep you updated. Um, I, make that, I will be making that movie, 20 Palm Trees in 24 Hours. You'll see them all. And just, uh, just, just to kind of, you know... <laughs> Uh, negate some of what people are saying as far as palm trees not growing here I, I am working on a video where I've made a collaboration of YouTube videos that are all online and all around of successful growers set aside from myself from Indiana places such as Ohio Iowa Canada uh, places in Russia Siberia even yes Siberia where people are successfully growing palm trees and so it can negate some of these growers who have this uh, pessimistic, um, you know, saddest view almost of, <laughs> or this just terrible view that palm trees can't grow in other climates because they're in climate, you know, zone eight or seven. So they almost have this envy or this jealousy. So I'm trying to really capture that and see what is this all about. Uh, I think as gardeners, as palm enthusiasts, and as just whoever you are, beginners, amateurs, experts, we need to start really um, supporting and encouraging each other, especially the new folks who are growing. Uh, I have had nothing but real, um, nearly just hate almost, and not support uh, in these groups. And I've tried everything. I've listened to people. I've said, you know, I've done, I'm doing research. People said, well, you've re renamed the palms. I make sure to know, people know, I'm not hiding any facts here. These are Trachycarpus 429s. We call them plot palm trees because it's the name of our business, and that's the product. So there's your definition, your explanation. And I just try, I'm trying to set things straight. I don't want to make any enemies here. I don't understand um, the, the problem. Maybe it's just for drama. So for all you drama queens out there, drama kings, um, just trying to set this, the record straight here, see what's going on, what's what's wrong. Do you not see these are green? These are green. Uh, they, they will stay green. Some of them will go brown. We cut the brown ones off. And you know what? There are more fronds that pop up. We'll show you that in the next season. Um, I hope I didn't offend anybody with this. And I hope I'm not offending anybody by pushing the limits, pushing the envelope. You know, a lot of people have done that in history. And... Uh, you know, you go through downs and ups and failures, and, and you know what? Sometimes you have successes if you never give up. And we're not going to give up because nobody supports it uh, in that in that sector because there's an awful lot of people who do. 25% of people will like you, uh, but be persuaded to, to not liking you. Another 25% will uh, dislike you, but be persuaded to liking you. Another 25% will hate you no matter what you do. And then the finally... A the, the final 25% will love, support, and encourage you all along the way, no matter what you do. And who do you think I'm going to listen to? This has been your friend, Earthman Eric Plot at PlotPalmTrees.com. You know I love you. I'm praying for you, your family. Check out our videos. Our new Moringa King products is really being successful. The Moringa King juice is is off the charts. And, uh, you know, you have to set up a back order. This is selling like crazy on some of these products here. Um, I'm the most nutritional tree on the planet. Um, we got all of it organic, wildcrafted. Check out how we process it on our homepage at plotpalmtree.com. Um, so, yeah, with all that said, uh, we love you. Shalom. And uh, 
you know, have a warm winter. Check out Truth vs. Tradition on the Tropical uh, Channel 573. Uh, Truth vs. Tradition with Jim Stanley, uh, Staley. And uh, learn more about how we, um, this Christmas holiday is a pagan holiday. So enjoy. Peace out.